Okay, so the doctor just gave you a shot that is going to make you sleepy. So it's all right if you feel sleepy. Okay. Twelve years. That's twelve years you've been the best thing about me. I don't know how to walk around the neighborhood without a leash attached to me. But if you're suffering, but it I wish you hadn't wagged your tail. But you gotta give me a clear signal. You gotta give me a definite sign because I'm not gonna do this unless it's time. But I can't just have you bleeding internally. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Blood in your mouth. If you come home it would just be more of the same. Is it me? Am I just tired of cleaning up after you? I told you to die in your sleep. I made that very clear. Every morning for the last few weeks, I looked over at you to see if you were breathing. And you were. Little stinker. When you were a puppy, oh my god, puppies suck. Puppies are cute, so we don't kill them. When I needed you to go down for the night because I was exhausted, I draped your strong, fragile chicken bone body over my shoulder and sang, do, 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 good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go <laughs> until you fell asleep. <gasps> I spent the first six months thinking I should give you up for adoption, but I kept you. And eventually, after a mere 40,000 hours of training, you learned everything I needed you to know. And then it was nice to walk together and not have you pulling me the way some dogs do. They don't get me started, right? You know how I feel about people who don't train their dogs. I wish you hadn't wagged your tail. We wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was time. <laughs> you go and wag your tail. What the fuck, Lenny? Was that like a reflex or something, a, a muscle thing? I wish you could talk. <laughs> nah, dogs could talk. It'd be like, treat, treat? Can I get a treat? Oh, now, can I have a treat? Where's my ball? Can I have a treat? It'd be stupid. You have to learn to see what your dog wants, to, to feel it. Dogs talk with their eyes. Mate with their tails. Talk to me, bud. I won't get a new dog. Not for a long time. Maybe never. Maybe you were my one shot. I'm gonna miss your coat so much. Golden toast, coconut shade of red. Gorgeous. You know, when I was brushing you last night, I was thinking, this is the last time I'll do this. Maybe wait one more week and then you threw up. So I just wanted to be a good dog mom. Was I a good dog mom? I gave you breakfast and dinner on time. Treats when appropriate, but not too many. I lost my temper once in a while, but only when you deserved it. You were awful. And you ate those Ralph Lauren sheets and that bedspread 1935 vintage perfect condition chenille with four colors. <laughs> you ate it. <laughs> but we had a ton of fun, didn't we? The, the, the beach. And the reservoir and the park. Oh, thousands of hours at that park. Just the neighborhood, right? Just the neighbors. You got to show a dog a good time because <laughs> you're scratched.
much. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You like that? The sleepy boy. The medicine. Oh, the doctor said it's going to wear off in 20 minutes, so I got to quit falling off. When you wag your tail, I think you're happy. Are you happy to go? Do you want to go? I don't know how I'm going to live through this. People do. People have six and eight and ten dogs in their lifetimes. Eight or ten. <laughs> they go through this eight or ten times. No, <laughs> I'm not going through this again. Oh, and people will be like, oh, I'm so sorry about many. And they'll mean well. And I'll think, shut up. Shut up. Don't talk about Lenny. But they'll miss you too. There's so many people who will miss you. Debbie will miss you. Jen will miss you. The guys at the hardware store will really miss you. The kids will miss you. I have to call Auntie first thing. She still hates it when I call you her nephew when I first got you. And I started saying, like, uh, we'll be on the 130 train. And Sissy would say, who's we? Obviously us. Oh, the kids. This will be their first encounter with death. You know, when I was in grade school, I just thought of this. There was a dog in the neighborhood who was hit by a car. We were playing in the Mahoney's yard and there was this thump and thump and we ran, ran to the street. And that dog was blood all over and they gathered him up in a blanket and took him to the vet and he died and our mothers gave us mint chocolate chip ice cream and we all had a million questions but we didn't ask them. Chucky, that was the dog, Mr. Crimson's dog. I remember Ch Chucky swimming in our pool, dad freaking out because his nails might scratch the liner. He loved the water like you. You love the beach. You love chasing the shells into the water. You don't care that you've never actually found one. <laughs> Not. I won't go to the beach for a long time. I'll just stay in the house. Walking down the street with a dog that dog loves you and everyone can see it. People call out the dog's name first so you have a second to collect yourself, to, to think of something to say. You, you have a second to, to put up your guard. You, you have a second to decide not to put up your guard because you don't need one because you have a dog. Hmm. He is your guard. Dog. Uh -huh. Of course, you're not much of a real guard dog. You'd let a serial killer in the front door if he had a treat. But you're my guard. Don't do that. If you wag your tail, I think you want to come home. But no, buddy, your body is throwing you out in chunks and pieces. Did you know that? This is a stupid story about the rainbow bridge. Dogs go to some sort of dog heaven and they're like six years old and they're prime, happy and they're healthy and they're running around with all the other dogs. And then one day they, they catch a whiff of something in the air. And what the dog caught was you because you died and the dog comes and finds you and you're together again. Do you think that's true? Will you find it? Will you promise to find me when I'm done? I am not getting a signal here. Any confirmation that it's now? That it's right? You're being kind of a jerk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you promise you'll wait for me? Wait for me, bud, because even in heaven, I'll be lost without you. You are the face I wear 
when I leave the house. My sweet furry smiling at everyone's face. Oh, is that, oh my God. Is that blood on your teeth? No. Just the light. It just looked for a second. No sign from God. No signal from you. I thought you'd come up with something. But, okay, then. The doctor is going to give you another shot now. And then you won't have any more pain. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's, oh, wow.